Okay, I am starting on two briefcase builds that I got going. Nice day out today. It's hot. Uh, I cut this bag the other day, and um, I thought I'd put this video together because I think it's kind of cool. I always get questions on how much these things really weigh. And uh, the definitive answer is a whole hell of a lot. This is one briefcase. Now this is an extended briefcase for a lawyer. He wanted it big. It's longer than normal. My normal sizes are 16 inch. This is a uh, 20 inch wide. So that's the, the, the wideness of this briefcase. So normally it would be about to here 16. So you got another four inches because this guy's a serious lawyer, I guess, and he's got serious paperwork to do. But here's a cool video just explaining the weight of these things. This is English bridal leather. That's one hide. The other day I, I showed, um, I hung that out outside and you can see the length of it. It's about eight feet. That's half the animal. This is the second hide all cut up for this briefcase. This is the briefcase I'm working on, the wood hole. It's got uh, four sections. Um, so one, two, three, four, yeah, four sections. So it's, it's gonna be a big briefcase. This is uh, 20 wide by 15 high. And uh, so here's the other briefcase for him that I'm working on, the Habermas. This is three sections. So this is a wide briefcase as well. This is six inch all together, and this is six inch all together, but just um, another compartment. Just adds more weight if you ask me. So these are all the, the flaps, the compartments that are, this is the whole bag, minus the, um, the thinner gussets. I don't have them cut up. So you could see this bag is the same as that. It pretty much took the whole eight foot high. That is from the, the butt section to the shoulder, cut off the belly. It's just the best part of the, the steer. That's what I did for this. These are the scraps to it. This is most of the, the bag. So if, so this guy who that I'm making this bag, when you follow, you'll see the extent of this and how big it is. This guy is going to be carrying all of this pretty much one whole half of a cow, half of the side minus the belly from the neck to the butt. That's what he's gonna be carrying just in weight of this briefcase. Now, you might ask, why does someone want to carry such a, a, a thick briefcase? And the reason is that I found with these lawyers, they, um, they'll buy a briefcase made, by, made with thinner leather, and they go through it in a year or two. If, if they're in and out of it, they go through it. So um, you need to go with thicker leather like this. There's no other way around it. If you want something to last... And these briefcases that I make, hand stitched everything, you know, talking about a briefcase that's gonna last years, depending on use, 10 years, over 10 years. Sure, it's gonna be thick and heavy, but if you want something, and also it ages a whole lot better, the thicker the leather, the leather and it's vegetable tan, it just ages better than that thin chromium tan leather, which, you really don't see how it ages unless you really don't use it because you're going to be breaking it if you're a serious um, lawyer or a professional that's using these things a lot and beating the shit out of them. Um, so yeah, that's why you would go with thicker leather and you just have to deal with the weight. So I'm going to measure the weight of this bag and you'll see just offhand, um, you know, what it's going to be. Uh, is this thing plugged in or what? Yeah what the weight is just with nothing inside this thing. Uh, let me zero it out. All right, so we try to do this with one hand. All right, I put that on there and you got, what, 10 pounds, almost 11 pounds on just the briefcase. So that's one whole high pretty much, right? Here's what I cut up. Here are just the bits that are, um, I'm not using. It is that whole hide. And this starting is gonna be 11 pounds for this dude to carry in the hand. 11 pounds in the hand for, uh, for over five, 10 minutes is tough. Um, let alone putting his stuff in there, books or whatever, whatever needs to be carried. You're talking about a bag that maybe could go up to 20 pounds. Um, most likely bags like this, you're gonna have a trolley cart 
and you're putting that on top of your trolley cart, you're walking it into court or, or around. That's what I've seen a lot of lawyers do. Um, here and there, they might just you know carry it where they have to go into court or whatever. But usually th these things are on trolley carts to begin with. Maybe not this one. This Habermas is gonna be lighter. I probably won't, I'll probably use three quarters of this, this hide to make this uh, briefcase and it'll be a whole lot lighter, maybe coming in at around seven pounds. But this thing is a beast and it's coming in at about 11 pounds. So you wanna see how it's built? Follow me along. I'm gonna start, actually, I'm just gonna cut this up and get that ready side by side since they're going on the same dude. I'm just gonna work on them both here and there. And uh, I'll post videos and photos um, and you can see how this thing is getting done. It's gonna take me a few weeks. So uh, if, you, if you're looking for this to get, to, to see how it's gonna get made in a couple of days, no way, this, these things take weeks. I don't do everything all at once, that's probably why. But a bag like this could take maybe 40 hours, 50 hours to put together. There's no lining, so it's a little bit easier. We're using the uh, the natural bridal lining, which is great, much more durable. Might not look as good, but this English bridal leather that I get, um, they really make the inside really nice. So, uh, so all right, so if you follow me, that's that. We'll see what's up.